Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got yet another makeup transformation for you all and I'm going to be creating my go-to bombshell smoky eye. So to start off, I'm just going to be clearing my model's skin with some baby wipes, the usual. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. makeup setting spray as a primary spray for her skin and then I'm going to be using my Becca Mattifying Primer to just mattify her skin. So once we're done with priming, I'm going to be using my ABH Brow Waist in dark brown and I'm just going to be using this to fill in her brows lightly. I know I always use the word lightly but I'm all for the brows. Like I feel like if the brows are not like fleeky then your makeup isn't fleeky and I'm all for just doing it very softly. Like just fill in as much as you need but don't overdo it because you know natural brows are the way forward basically. So and then I'm going to be using my Max Studio Finish Concealer in NW45 to clean up and highlight underneath her brows. And then for the top of her brows, I'm going to be using my Super Finish Concealer in NW45 and NW55 and mix both together. And I'm just going to use this to clean the top of her brows. And then as usual, I always go in with my brow powder just to, you know, fill in the brows a bit more and to give the brow um, the same power. And then once I'm done doing this, I like to go in with a brush and I'm just going to blend out the concealer. <laughs> So onto the skin, I'm going to be using my AJ Crimson Dual Skin Foundation in 6.5 and I'm just spraying my makeup brush with some e.l.f. makeup setting spray and this spray is amazing when it comes to blending out anything really. I love using it when I'm blending foundation into the skin. I just find that it helps the makeup blend very effortlessly and it also means that I use less foundation. To highlight her face, I'm going to be using my Ellie Girl Pro Concealer in Toast and Toffee and I just applied the toast first and then I went over with some toffee and then I'm going to be using my damp beauty blender. I always make sure my beauty blender is damp so I don't use it dry and I don't use it soaking wet so you want it like in between and this really just helps with you know blending product effortlessly into the skin. To contour her face, I'm going to be using my cream shadow, you guys already know, and I'm using the shade Extra Dark, and I'm first of all sculpting out her nose, and then I'm going to go into the rest of the face, so I'm just doing around her forehead, the hollows of her cheeks, basically the areas of the face that you'd like to bring dimension to. And then once we're done with this, you guys already know, I always go back in with my foundation brush to blend in between the contour, the highlight, foundation, which everything is flawless. To set her highlighted areas, I'm going to be using my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. And then for the rest of her face, I'm going to be using my Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Dark Deep. And guys, I like this is like my favorite product from MAC. Well, maybe after the chestnut liner pencil, but like I just love this powder. And then I kind of dusted off a little too much, so I went back in with some more of that buttercup powder just to you know bake her face. So to contour her nose, I'm going to be using my ABH um, powder in Expresso, and then I went in with Expresso and Carb for the rest of her face. And then to reverse contour slightly, I'm just going to be using my MSF and in Dark Deep. So onto the eyes, I'm going to be using my Ingot Gel Liner as a base because this gel liner is literally the blackest of them all. And when I use it as a base for my smoky eye, like the eyes are just popping, guys. So I'm just applying this all over her mobile lid and then I'm just you know blending it in slightly before I put on the eyeshadow. So for her eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my Makeup Kicks Eyeshadow in Corrupt and I like to believe that this is the darkest, like the blackest black eyeshadow I have in my Makeup Kicks. So it's what I love going for when I'm doing a smoky eye. So I'm just applying this all over her mobile lid and I'm going to be using this 
Beauty Mac shadow which is like a dark plummy color to blend out the edges of that black eyeshadow. So I'm basically working my way up right now. And then I'm going to be using ADH, ADH's eyeshadow in Sienna. And I'm just going to be applying this as her transition color to blend out that like deep plum color. And then I decided to go in with some, I think it was um, some bitten from Makeup Gift just to kind of like warm up her eye area a bit more. And that's pretty much it guys. Like smoky eyes are so easy to create once you have like the right transition color and the right black eyeshadow, you're good to go. So I'm just lining her waterline with my ingot gel liner. And then I went in with some of that black eyeshadow, you know, to smudge out on the, the lower lash line. And then I'm going to be using some of that bit to just, you know, vamp up the eyes a bit. Make the eyes look very sultry. So at this point guys, I was like, I'm gonna do a pop of color. And basically, I just went in with my foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and I was like, this looks really pretty and very spring-like. So I just did this to like, you know, open up her eye area a bit. And then I just went back and with some more of my face powder and I used this to dust off any excess powder off her face. So for her blush, I'm going to be using my Max Blush in Raisin. And this is like my favorite blush ever to use on deeper skin tone. And then I went in with these two shades from my Ultimate Glow Kits, you know, to highlight her face. And then guys, I had to grab my Gleam Radiant Dust and Bronze Gold. Like, look at that. I have missed this baby. So I just apply this. Oh guys, I'm so excited. I just apply this all over her, you know, the areas that I want to glow up. And that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to set her face with my Scandinavian Makeup Finishing Spray. So for her lips guys, I'm going to be using my OCC Lip Pencil in Sybil and this is like my second or third favorite um, dark brown lip pencil to use after my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. It's slightly darker than the Chestnut Lip Liner so it's perfect for, you know, women of color with deeper, with much deeper skin tone. I'm just using this to outline her lips and then I went to my OCC Lip Tower in Covet and this is my favorite like flesh tone nude lip color. I'm just going to, you know, gradually fill in her lips, get her to blend it go back in with some of the liner pen pencil and guys if I don't use this I haven't I feel like I haven't finished the lips I just have to do this now so for her lashes I'm just using my eyelier lashes in number 143 I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara you know to blend the falsets with her real lashes and we are pretty much done now guys so thank you all so much for staying tuned. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Smoky eyes are super duper easy to create and they're just so bomb when you're done. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.